everybody so today i am back at the unit basically i am having a roller door um shutter put over the glass front door so the guys phoned me this morning so that they were on their way so a bit last minute but they are coming i'm sorry i look rough again i seem to say that in every single video that i do but as i'm here and just before they arrive i thought i'd show you the progress we've made what changes there have been and how amazing it's looking. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'll give you a, an updated tour. Okay, so as you come in, this is all painted now. And we've had a stud wall put up around the kitchen. Um, this is gonna be left open, we're not gonna have a door there, it's just an in and out because we're having a big counter put around here that my boyfriend's building me. Um, new lights have been fitted. I'm going to put it all on and then show you. Lights have been fitted. The mezzanine level has been filled in and cladded, which I'm so happy with. It looks so good. So now this bit is really well lit up. And I have fun lights to play with. And then the stud wall, which mum is still painting currently. Um, that's got a new door so that's sort of like our kitchen staff room and then that's the toilet there no changes in the toilet um this was a um it's where all the fuses and everything is so that's been boxed in because i didn't really want everyone looking at that and then if we go upstairs looks into the kitchen um i've had tension cables put across um, to the other side and this is above the um i don't know if this is not very clear but it's above the counter and what i'm going to do with these is put like um cool hangings and like pom-poms and stuff so that there's like a bit more color like above so that when you come up the stairs there's something fun to look at so i'm excited about making all the things to hang on those Oh, I just love the way this cladding looks. So upstairs, it's been painted up here. So pendant lights have been fitted. I need to get one more to put in the middle there because Ikea ran out of stock. Um, plug sockets in the floor, ready for the sewing machines. The inside of the mezzanine level, we haven't done anything with. I was going to cover it in cork, but I'm going to double check it, but I think it might be too expensive, so I think I might just paint this. Um, it'll just be a lot easier. Um, plug sockets at the back for the cutting tables, ironing boards, etc. So, yeah. It just looks so different. I'm just so excited. Mm. So, I can't really take credit for all of it because... Mum and Louie have been doing all the painting. I've just been sort of paying for things whilst I'm still working at home because I've still got so much work on at the moment. Um, and also my lovely best friend Carmen, who's designed the entire thing. Um, without her, it wouldn't look this crazy good. So the wall behind me, I still need to do the wall hanging. We are getting desperately close now. We've only got a month. Well, it's the 1st of August today, so less than a month until we want to open. Um, so I really need to get on the wall hanging soon. But I'm hoping that Mum and I can do it in a couple of weeks. So, fingers crossed, we get that done. So, whilst I wait for the roller door people to turn up and fit my door, I have brought with me a PDF pattern to stick together. So I'm sat on a very dusty floor. I've taken my shoes off because I bought some new shoes the other day and I don't really want them getting dusty. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to sit here and do my pattern pieces. And I did bring the new school diary so that I can plan future workshops and lay everything out. So I'm going to do that as well. Exciting times. Hello everybody. So I'm back at the unit today. Um, I'm going to tick off some painting to-do lists. Um, basically I need to paint all the doors um, so this staff like the kitchen door 
um, and I need to paint the bathroom door in the corner as well. Um, and I do need to paint um, the boxing that they put around the cupboard um, and the inside of the mezzanine level upstairs, but I've just put all the wood filler in all the screw holes to smooth it off um, and I didn't bring my sandpaper. So one, I need to let that dry. Two, I need to sand it off before I put the undercoat on it. So mum might have to start that tomorrow. Sorry mum. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll get both doors done today. But yeah, it's looking really good in here. I'll flip the camera around in a minute and I'll just show you. Well, it doesn't really look any different since yesterday, but I'll show you anyway. So, it's looking nice and clean. Also, I've bought um, the concrete sealer because the concrete hasn't been sealed so it's quite dusty still so i'm going to do it one square at a time so luckily because the concrete slabs they've like marked them into sections um so i'm hopefully going to finish that today after i've painted the doors and i might seal under the stairs because no one's going to really go under there but it's just there's a lot of cleaning involved before you do it so i'm a bit worried about it but hey ho it needs to be done on both doors now um, they are looking messy and please do not judge me on my painting skills or my technique but um, I mean it's undercoat it's not going to look neat so I reckon I'm going to have one coat of undercoat and I phoned my dad and he said it should be fine if the wood's not too dark um, just to save a bit of time and the gloss top coat I got is like a one coat thick gloss top coat so hopefully it'll look fine. But I've realised that on this door, my mum has painted the wood, but we haven't filled in the little holes. So I need to put some wood filler on those as well, and then she can do the top coat on that tomorrow. So I'm debating whether to go and paint the this cupboard with undercoat. But basically, I'm waiting for the BT man to come and connect up my internet. And and he needs access into that cupboard. So I could just leave the doors open, prop them open, paint the outside, and leave the outside because it needs sanding down because I put wood filler on it. Yeah, I think I might do that before I start on the floor. Yeah, maybe I'll make a cup of tea first. <laughs> BT guy just came and gave me a socket um, and he was like oh it's easier if I just stick it in the, the cupboard like here like where, where it comes in but I sort of wanted it in the office um, but it was so late and I'm so tired from waiting for him that I just said fine put it there and then he was like oh do you want me to plug your router and check that it works I was like yes please and then we realised there's a bloody plug socket in there so it does need to go in there but I'm hoping my electrician can fit another socket but anyway, I'm so tired and knackered now that I'm going home. And I actually have a blister on my hand from painting. <laughs> Never mind, time for bed. Hello everyone, so I'm back at the unit today. It's Saturday. I was meant to come here a lot earlier. It's only just gone four. Um, but basically loads of stuff happened this morning. We were meant to meet friends for lunch and we had to meet them somewhere else. And Basically, I had no idea what our plans were, and suddenly the day is just gone. So I'm finally here. I'm knackered. I'm not really sure why. I'm just shattered. Um, 
and I just thought before I just do another coat like another section of floor with the concrete seal and I want to do another coat on the doors maybe get one coat of undercoat done um, while I'm here um, I just thought I'd show you some of the new things and the update really okay so not much has changed down here apart from the fact that all the pollen is on the concrete floor but don't worry it's dry but that's what ignore that chair <laughs> that's what the concrete sealant does so it just puts a nice sheen on it and it this has been done that hasn't been done so I don't know if you can really see the difference but when you're not looking at it on the camera you can see a difference it's just got a nice sheen to it um what else has happened oh we've got cctv now that box is changing they're changing that but we've got cctv um just for security um mum's done another coat of paint on the stud walling and then upstairs <laughs> Mum has painted one coat on the mezzanine on the inside. So that's looking really, really nice. So, yeah. Oh my god, it's hot in here. Another thing is that I've got my metal parking signs. Um, I just need to take these home for Hugh to drill holes in them and then we can put them on our parking spaces. Um, and we have internet that's a big deal that is but yeah we have internet so i'm gonna plug a phone in now and test it supposed to wear well I now know you're supposed to wear protection when using chemicals like this oh my god when it's 30 degrees how the hell are you meant to keep this on I need to learn how to take it off as well okay just stick that down oh my god I need to go outside for five minutes oh my god I look so rough right I've only been here for two and a half hours so it's now half six so I'm just gonna leave because I'm exhausted um but I just thought I'd show you what I've done today so I've sealed this section of flooring um this bit I did the other day you can from this angle you can see the difference I haven't done the neatest job but it just gives like a sheen it's actually really grippy um and what it does is it I don't know if I explained it before, but what it does is it seals the concrete so it's not so dusty. So over time we can mop it and clean it without it like um, coming apart basically. And also you don't want loads of dust around fabric and things like that. And I did up to the chair, I've marked it out with the broom in there, um, just so no one walks on it. So basically I couldn't do this whole section otherwise I couldn't get out the door. So I have to work out a way that I can do that last bit before we open. Um, I'm sure I'll work it out. But yes, yeah, so I've done that. I've also done the top coat of all the wood that I didn't do the other day on the cupboard there. Um, and the last thing I did is I've done the top coat on this door. Um, and hopefully it doesn't need another one because I'm so sick of using horrible oily paint. Um, I still need to do the top coat on that one, which is why it looks so patchy. So that's what that one looks like. And that's what that one looks like. Oh, it looks really good on the camera as well. So I'm hoping that that will be it. Any professional painters, please do not tell me that I need to do an extra coat. But yeah, we're getting there. Oh, look how shiny it looks from there. Right, time to go home. Yeah.